just a heads up. New information just into our newsroom tonight. Michigan City Police, they are looking into the discovery of two people found dead inside an apartment. Emergency crews responded to the Normandy Village apartment complex around 1130 yesterday. That's where they found 23-year-old Corey Robinson Jr. and 20-year-old Kalia Harrington shot to death. The early investigation reveals multiple gunshots were fired inside that apartment, but police say there's no active threat to that community. To our decision 2024 coverage as Republican Mike Braun will give up his seat in the U.S. Senate to run for Indiana governor. But not until the last minute. Our Mark Peterson it joins us now to explain. Mark, you caught up with Senator Braun today at the Republican headquarters in South Bend. Right. He's not running for re-election to the Senate, but he will finish out the 16 months left on his term. That With Congress uh, in recess today, Braun made a campaign stop in South Bend. That's the big guys trying to restrict competition. A politician well known for his reluctance to wear a necktie apparently has no problem wearing two hats. Oh. Will you resign at some point from the Senate to campaign? Or? No, I'm going to finish out my term. And uh, uh, i got to remember when I ran for Senate, I started with 1%. And uh, even friends and family thought that was a fool's errand. And I invested 15 months. 14 to 18 hours a day, six days a week. So uh, I'm going to do that same thing here. What won't be the same, the fierce support Braun got in his 2018 race from President Donald Trump. President Trump attended four rallies with Braun, including this one in Elkhart. But would you welcome him on the campaign trail? Or are you still a President Trump supporter? Or? I don't think he's going to be coming in when he's running for president into any of the local races. That was a midterm, remember. RDB engaged in During Braun's time in the Senate, he says the national debt has grown from 18 trillion to nearly 33 trillion. He still hopes to fight for reform, but he feels it is more likely to happen one state at a time. I think there's more potential to show how you can run a state government well that solves problems across the board, embraces our values along the way, and be an example not only to other states, but maybe how things should run out in D.C. And, of course, Braun elected to the Senate in 2018. Uh, that was the race against uh, Joe Donnelly. Braun came out ahead. He's a busy man, that's for sure, as are you, Mark Peterson. We appreciate that reporting. Thank you. It is a big